Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about corsets. Boys could wear corsets. Yeah. They did actually. They had a lot of history. Puppies though. So today we're gonna to be talking about corsets. I decided that I wanted to wear a corset every day for a week and see what the experience was like. Now, a little note on safety before I get started. I think that corsets tend to be kind of controversial and people worry about your organs getting squashed or something like that. The unfortunate thing is that we actually don't have a lot of modern, reliable scientific studies that prove whether or not corsets are damaging or not damaging. Corsets went out of fashion long before we'd be able to have truly reliable research on the topic. A lot of the research that commonly gets cited saying that corsets are horrible for you happened around the time when corsets were popular, which would have been the turn of the century over 120 years ago. Even if they did gather empirical evidence that was reliable, some of those people who were studying corsets also had a little bit of an agenda and were hoping to find that corsets were bad for you. Now, regardless of whether someone is on the pro-corset side or the con-corset side, people pretty much exclusively refer to something called tight lacing. Tight lacing doesn't have an exact definition, which is, again, another problem with those studies. If you don't define what you're studying, you can't really draw a complete conclusion about it. I've heard tight lacing defined as either four inches off your waist measurement or 20% of your waist measurement, depending on how large your waist measurement is when you start out. I'm going to tell you right now that I have not, would never, and probably couldn't if I wanted to tight lace. Generally speaking, I never reduce more than two inches because anything more than that is uncomfortable for me personally, and frankly, not really necessary. I think a corset does such a good job of shaping the body in general that you don't really need to reduce dramatically in order to get a really good silhouette. So that being said, no, my organs are not going to get squashed. This is probably not going to kill me, and I don't tight lace anyway, so. I think I'm gonna be okay. Okay, so with all of the disclaimers out of the way, I'm gonna talk about what I'm actually planning on doing for this video. For the next seven days, I am planning on wearing a corset every single day. My goal is to wear the corset for eight hours. Also, my goal is not necessarily to reduce my waist measurement, so I will not be tight lacing. I may not even reduce at all. I'm only going to lace my corset to whatever feels comfortable for me. I do have a small collection of corsets from a few different eras, so I won't necessarily be wearing the same corset every day. Today, I'm actually wearing the very first corset that I ever made. This corset was made using the pattern from Atelier Sylph, and the name of that pattern is Reference W. It's actually a pretty popular pattern in the historical costuming community, and for good reason. This corset has incredible shape. It is just so deliciously curvy. Unfortunately, I would not necessarily recommend this particular corset pattern if you've never made a corset before. I found that it was a little bit weird trying to figure out how the pieces went together. And also the gores were kind of confusing to put into the corset. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one as a good starter pattern. Also, Atelier Sylph bases all of her patterns on specific antique examples, so they only come in one size. I'm gonna go ahead and go about my day. I put my corset on around 10 a.m., so I will update you at the end of the day to see how I'm feeling and uh, what I've been up to all day. So yeah, I guess I'll see you later today. It is now officially the end of day one, and admittedly, I'm a little bit sick of it. I think it's really more that I'm just not really used to it rather than anything that's particularly wrong with the actual corset itself. That being said, this corset does have a more dramatic silhouette than I think most people probably would have worn on a daily basis. As far as things that I've noticed so far, <laughs> I think my chemise is like scrunched or wrinkled or something underneath my corset because I was getting kind of like what's going on under there. I am also so tired of sitting up straight. I think I didn't really quite realize how much of my time I tend to spend slouching just because, you know, it's normal. You don't need to sit up straight all the time, but when you're wearing a corset, you kind of have no choice. I do think it's kind of a common myth that a corset like forces you to sit up straight. And honestly, that's really not true. I think what a corset really does is just makes it unpleasant to do anything other than sitting up straight. I can slouch, I'm slouching right now. 
it's just not the position that the corset really wants to be in. It feels more natural and more comfortable to sit up. Overall, my first day I think was a success. I'm a little bit tired, I'm excited to take it off, but I wouldn't say that I was like miserable or uncomfortable. Looking forward to day two, I'll probably wear a different corset just because I have never actually worn any of them for really an extended period of time. So I'm looking forward to learning more about my own wardrobe. <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow for day two. All right, so it is now day two and I procrastinated putting the corset on. So now I think it's like 1130 or almost noon. So I will be wearing my corset until bedtime. I'm also wearing my corset over combinations instead of a chemise today. I felt like the chemise was kind of like scrunched up under the corset. Fortunately, I did already have these combinations which are not gathered at the waistline. So I'm hoping that they'll be a little bit more comfortable than what I was wearing yesterday. This corset in general is just going to be more comfortable than what I was wearing yesterday simply because it's a less dramatic silhouette. One thing that people often don't realize about corsets is that if you don't have the right corset to start with it doesn't matter how tightly you lace it you're never gonna get the shape that you want from it so the corset has to already be the right shape in order for you to get the shape out of it that you are hoping for so because this corset has a lot less hip spring I'm finding it already that it's a lot more comfortable than what I was wearing yesterday I'm looking forward to day two of wearing a corset and kind of like getting used to how this one feels Okay, it's officially the end of day two, and I am much more tired than I was expecting to be. A few sources online have suggested that muscle atrophy might be something that takes place when you wear a corset for too long. It seems super unlikely just because I am completely exhausted from having to sit up straight all day long. I think I'm just not really used to using all the muscles that I feel like I've had to use to correctly wear the corset. But I do think that this corset is a lot more comfortable than the one that I was wearing yesterday and I'll probably be wearing this for most of the rest of the week, although I do want to spend some time in some of the other corsets that I've made. I think I'm feeling really ready to get this corset off though, so I'm going to call it quits for the day and pick it up again tomorrow. It is officially day three. I completely forgot that I had an appointment to go see a house in Portland when I decided to do this project, but I decided that I did not want to let that stop me. So today I'm going to be going on two three hour long each car rides in my corset and I will let you know how it is. I have actually been in the car already for about an hour and it's not terrible. Car seats are obviously not really designed for you to wear a corset in them. So that I'm kind of like leaned back and it's not as comfortable maybe as it could be, but so far it's not too bad. I will update you on the way home and I'll let you know whether or not I lasted the whole day in my corset or not. and it is super cute. Let's talk about the corset. So I have actually now officially been wearing this corset for I think about 10 hours. So I put it on this morning before we left around 7.30 and it is 5.30 right now. There are a couple of things that I did to increase the comfort of the corset today. Yesterday and the day before, I was having an issue where the fabric was bunching up underneath the corset. The chemise was probably the worst, but even the combinations, which are a lot smoother and have way fewer gathers around the waistline, were still a little bit uncomfortable. Today, instead of wearing a chemise or combinations, I actually just went with a plain like cotton tank top and it is a thousand times better, you guys. Sometimes modern solutions to not so modern problems is really the answer. The other thing that I will say that I did is I laced for comfort today. So you can lace your corset tighter or looser depending on what you're planning on doing on that day. The past two days, I probably had about a one inch maybe reduction on my waist. Today, I didn't have any at all. And that's a totally reasonable thing that Victorian women did. I think that there's a myth that women were tight lacing every day, but 
that's simply not the case, especially for women who are a lot more active. I also want to talk about what it was like to wear a corset in a car for so long. It was honestly not as bad as I was expecting. I was really nervous about it jabbing into me or being super uncomfortable. And I will say that it is starting to wear on me a little bit. And the top edge of the corset, because it's a mid bust, is definitely kind of like poking me in some weird places. But I think that issue could honestly have been solved if I were just willing to sit up straight for three or four hours, which I am not. <laughs> I am excited to get home and take the corset off. But for the most part, I think today was overall a bigger success than I was expecting. I think that's it for now, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hi everyone, it is officially day four and I am wearing a different corset today. This is the um, Edwardian underbust corset from the Underpinnings Museum. Probably the easiest one to construct that I've talked about so far. A lot of turn of the century corsets have a lot of gores, like pointy little triangle things that you need to put in, which I tend to find very fiddly and have a lot of trouble putting together. This one has the fewest number of pieces and it doesn't have any of those pesky gores. so. In my opinion, it went together really quickly and really easily. The one thing that I thought I didn't like about it was the top is like really low. So Edwardian corsets are meant to end mid bust anyways. However, this one seemed like it was too low. The more research that I do, the more I realize that actually that was pretty common for this time period and that it kind of signaled the transition to like more of a bra slash girdle situation rather than a corset which is supposed to support both the waist and the bust at the same time. I think that what I like about this particular corset pattern is that it's a good intersection of giving a lot of shape but not too much and I do find that it's actually fairly comfortable. I feel like I look super different in modern clothes. I haven't done laundry in a while so I don't have any cute history bounding things to wear this with. So for today all I am really planning on doing is some more sewing which is pretty lightweight. So I guess I'll check back in at the end of the day and let you know how this corset is feeling after a couple more hours. Okay, it is end of day four and I have to say I'm starting to get a little bit sick of it. I thought that yesterday the car ride would be the big thing that would really like put me off and make me tired of the whole project but actually today just having to do it day in and day out is definitely wearing on me a little bit and honestly weirdly I think it's more because I'm just not used to wearing a corset than anything to do with the actual corset itself. If you didn't grow up wearing work boots or you didn't grow up wearing bras you'd probably also be sick of wearing one after a couple of days. I'm looking forward to the end of this project at this point. As far as this specific corset design in general goes the one big thing that is starting to bug me is I have set the corset grommets in the back too far apart. I don't think that the pressure is as evenly distributed as it could be. So I guess I will see you tomorrow for day five. <laughs> Hello, welcome to day five. I feel like I'm sort of starting to get used to the corset a little bit. At this point, the thing that I'm finding more annoying than usual is having to like get dressed and put it on every morning. Now that I'm all dressed up, I am feeling a lot better about it. I was just feeling kind of lazy, but now the hard part is over and all I have to do is wear it. Today, I'm going to do what I do every day and get some sewing done. I will update you at the end of the day with any new insights that I have. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about for the rest of the days because I feel like I've talked about everything so far. Maybe five days is enough. today went fine. It was a little bit hotter today than it has been so far and it does kind of make me wonder how women wore these corsets and all of these layers in such hot climates. I felt like today I was much less focused on the corset than I have. Kind of seems to be fading into the background a little bit. So the more you wear them the more it seems totally normal and you don't really think about it. I almost want to say that I'm kind of enjoying it. <laughs> I think I feel the most me when I'm wearing historical clothing and there's something really nice about fully committing to that and actually wearing everything that goes with the historical ensembles. It makes me feel like really put together and ready to do stuff. It feels like armor almost. I honestly wouldn't even necessarily say I'm like looking forward to the end of the project. 
This is probably going to be my first and only update for the day since uh, I kind of forgot to do it this morning and it's already like four in the afternoon. I do think that once the hotter weather hits, I'm gonna be a lot less inclined to do an experiment like this because I just don't think that wearing a corset in the hot weather is going to be very appealing to me. I feel like in regards to wearing my corset, I hit kind of a milestone yesterday. It actually felt like less work to just leave the corset on and not change until I was ready to get ready for bed. And the longer I wear it, the less it seems like a chore and the more it just kind of seems like something that you do. I've been enjoying it. Uh, it makes me feel really pretty, which is nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see you tomorrow for day six. All right, it's the seventh and final day of this project, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of my wrap up now. I think I've mostly talked about all the different physical aspects of wearing a corset, but what I haven't really talked very much about is how it makes me feel on a personal level. Actually doing the full kit with the chemise, the corset, the petticoats and everything, there's something that's really satisfying about it and you feel very complete and very nicely put together. As a historical costumer, it's really fun to actually have a chance or a reason to wear all the beautiful things that you've made since for the most part, a lot of this stuff tends to sit in my closet. So it's nice to take it out and actually wear it. And something about wearing the corset just makes you feel very like elegant and pretty. And it's really just overall a good feeling. It was also a good little window into the past of how women might actually have felt wearing their clothing on a daily basis. I was worried that it was gonna kind of prevent me from going about my everyday life in a comfortable way. But even living in a modern world, spending all the time in the car, for example, I didn't really feel like the corset was preventing me from doing any of the things that I normally do. I'm surprised at how much I have been enjoying wearing a corset. And while I don't think I'm going to adopt it as my daily wear, I do think it's something that I might do a little bit more regularly than I have in the past. I think that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.